Depression is one of the most common illnesses, affecting 260 million individuals worldwide. Although some may have a higher predisposition to this disorder, it can affect nearly anyone. Depression has the potential to affect your mind as well as your body, often resulting in disruptions in all areas of life, like school, work, social life, and relationships. It is one of the leading causes of disability worldwide, and despite the many treatment options available, such as therapy and medication, 20% of individuals don't respond to any intervention. In recent years, Psilocybin mushrooms, or sometimes known as magic mushrooms, made a comeback in the scientific community for the use in the treatment of depression, anxiety, PTSD, and addiction. But where do magic mushrooms come from? Historians believe that psilocybin mushrooms have been around since 9000 BC, based on representations in ancient paintings and sculptures. They made their way to Westerners in the late 1950s when Robert Gordon Wason, a mycologist, participated in a ritual ceremony using psilocybin mushrooms in Mexico. To do further research, Wason and a friend isolated and extracted psilocybin and psilocin, the active principles in magic mushrooms, and brought them back to the United States. By the 1960s, these magic mushrooms became widely used by the public in the United States, Canada, and United Kingdom. They had a powerful impact on American culture and soon became a symbol of the hippie movement. In 1968, the possession of psilocybin and psilocin became illegal in the United States, and by 1971, the United Nations implemented the Convention on Psychotropic Substances, making psilocin and psilocybin a Schedule One drug in 71 countries. After decades, in 2000, researchers at John Hopkins were able to obtain regulatory approval in the United States to reinitiate research with psilocybin mushrooms with volunteers. 36 adults were administered psilocybin, and after 14 months, study participants reported the positive effects of their mystical experiences had continued and that they were to be among the most personally meaningful and spiritually significant of their lives. In 2016, one of the first studies looking at magic mushrooms for treatment-resistant depression was conducted in the UK. 12 people with moderate to severe depression were given two oral doses of psilocybin seven days apart. Depressive symptoms were markedly reduced one week and three months after the high-dose treatment. There was also a significant improvement in anxiety and enjoyment of life. Researchers propose that psilocybin with psychological support helps revive emotional responsiveness in depression, enabling patients to reconnect with their emotions. The effects of psilocybin were found to be opposite of those previously found in SSRIs, or antidepressants. In contrast to SSRIs, psilocybin allowed patients to confront negative emotions, potentially reviving emotional responsiveness and enabling patients to reconnect with their emotions. As a result of the efficacy of psilocybin mushrooms, the FDA gave breakthrough designation for psilocybin-assisted therapy. This means the FDA will be working to expedite the development and review of psilocybin mushrooms to be legalized for psychedelic-assisted therapy. It's unsure when magic mushrooms will be legal for therapeutic purposes, but studies are still being done, and scientists are trying to learn more about how this magical drug works.